Hello, and welcome back to Health and Human Rights Strategies YouTube channel. I'm Nicole Fisher, the founder and president of HHR. This week, we decided to do something a little different and answer your questions. So we went to all of our social media sites and pooled the question or theme that was asked most frequently on that site. And now I'm going to answer them. So we'll start with Twitter. What is your favorite project? That's really difficult to answer. Uh, for me, personally, I think work that we've done in India or voting rights for women in Bangladesh are some of the projects that have made me most proud. Uh, domestically, I love working in Chicago. I think the work we do there just like in other countries, we get to address big problems, and I like big problems. So whether that's clean water or the right to vote. In Chicago, not only do we meet brilliant people, uh, but we get to address big problems like justice reform and housing. And so I feel as though whenever we leave Chicago, I have learned something new and I've met some incredible new people. And I'm very proud of the work there. From Instagram, what's the best place to work? I assume this is because of the pictures, many are very beautiful, that we post on Instagram from wherever we're working in the world. Uh, internationally, for me, the best places to work, I think, are uh, Nepal or Japan. It's actually Nepal, definitely Nepal. Whether it's the people, the culture, the food. I love everything about Nepal. And I love knowing uh, that our partner organizations and the kinds of problems that we tackle, when we leave, not only are they thankful, but we know that they have sustainability and that we are going to make a big difference. And so I absolutely love working in Nepal. Uh, domestically, I think we would each give a different answer about the best place to work. And I'm guessing we would all be very biased to where we're from. Uh, there is nothing better than going to your local community, state, and doing meaningful work. Um, building partnerships and programs, projects, where you're from and in your home community, that makes each of us feel really good. And YouTube, tell us more about brains. Okay, I love that. Uh, so if you've watched our YouTube videos, you know that we talk a lot about brains and neuroscience. And that's because when I founded this company, A, it's my background, but B, we very much believe that how we think and feel, human behavior very much determines decisions that we make and you know our health. Uh, we also think that context, you've probably heard us talk about context before, that our context is very much uh, impactful into our health. So an insurance card, for example, is not health or health care. It's a piece of paper that says you can or cannot talk to a person and how much you're going to pay if you do. But everything around you, where you live, what you eat, how you get someplace or back, whether you even have access to go, uh, those determine your health and your access to health care. And so we very much like to focus on how people think and behave and believe that solving a lot of big public health problems and improving human rights uh, come from understanding brains and behavior. So we love talking about it. Be sure to pose more questions. Uh, definitely subscribe. Tell us what you want to know about public health, healthcare as a whole, human rights issues, and we'll do some more of these Q&As and answer your questions. Have a great day.